morning everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for a full self driving video of 12.4.1. I'm super excited to try this out because I no longer theoretically have to hold the steering wheel. I can just look forward. It's the craziest thing ever. I'm so excited to try it. And um, what you'll notice, maybe you've already heard it, we're towing a trailer this morning, obviously by the title. Oh wow. It seen a message that popped up is because I was looking at the screen to show you the trailer and it immediately went away So <laughs> this is so crazy. Holy crap Fortunately the speed limit um, it, I like that. I like the visualization changes is um, <laughs> Yeah, um, so this little download right here is um, I was downloading a game update I guess so it hasn't corrected the speed limit on this road. I'm waiting for that to happen. I don't know when or if that will happen, uh, but yeah. So I noticed how it, it went it went blue because I like I looked at my mirror and then I looked back forward and it stopped. <laughs> yeah. So um, we are doing a normal. Car normal Car Carl Sandberg route this morning. So we're gonna see what it does. So far, so good. This interesting. This is slower and more Tim and get it on here. I'm curious how it does on the highway. That's what's really gonna affect performance, I think, is highway. Because we have a construction zone coming up, and I don't think this um, uses FSD version 12 on highway yet. There's actually quite a bit of traffic this morning. Why? I'm not quite sure, actually. Okay, so for the sake of the fact that I have, I'm carrying a trailer, I'm gonna have to lower the speed down. Um, the wheels on this trailer are rated for 65 mile an hour. I, I, people tow it faster than that all the time, but we're gonna play it safe and just, um, just make it 65. For the sake of like I normally, if you're not towing a trailer, that wouldn't wouldn't be necessary. And full self driving, to be clear, is not rated to tow a trailer right now. It's just really nice that it can tow a trailer with a Model Three that does not have tow mode. So I just well, it's like I'm just sitting here looking forward. This is uh this is the new new uh, thing to do, isn't it? I'm surely in a self-driving car. <laughs> this is magical, yep. This is this is pretty this is pretty great. Um yeah. I don't I guess it's it's different because I kinda did this anyway beforehand. But I have to, you know, like put my hand on the wheel and like jiggle it a little bit every couple minutes. And it's just like it just kinda broke the, the magic of it. And now it's just like maybe I'll look away to go look at my mirror. Let's see how long it takes. Yep, pay attention to the road. Took about five to 10 seconds, I don't know. Which is, I think that's reasonable. Cause I wanna, if I wanna go look off to my left, I'm like, oh, what's that? I don't want it to immediately, you know, ruin me or something, you know? Um, I'm hoping, what I'm actually gonna enable, let's see if I can do that from here. Uh, how do I do that? Um, oh, oh that, that's how I do it. Minimal lane changes. It does it quicker if you're looking at the screen. Also, I noticed um, this visualization update added a little bit of lag. So hopefully that gets refined over the next couple versions. That's because I had the old MCU and I really don't want to, uh, I don't want the car to become laggy. I would rather have older visualizations and not have the car become laggy. Um, so it makes me feel like I need to replace my car like a cell phone or something. This car is six years old. As of like last week, it's six years old. And the fact that it's still better than like any other car, like new other non-Tesla out there is crazy. So in terms of driving, like, you know, I basically done no interventions. 
the, the, the speed control again was only because I had the trailer. I wouldn't consider that an intervention. I would intervene. If there is a police car up here, I will most definitely intervene because we are going 10 over in a construction zone. I, the car needs to learn how to read, read those digital speed limit signs. And so that's something I'm looking for. I should have pressed the camera button right there. But yeah, it's not the end of the world. Every, cause, mostly because everyone drives that fast. There is someone that must have been going 80 mile an hour through this construction zone the other day. They were flying. And I just, I can't, can't believe they would do, do that. But yeah, I, I know I'm talking a lot, guys, but I'm going to let it time lapse until we're doing the interchange and I'll, yeah, I'll bring it back. Hey guys, we're getting out the highway. I don't, like I said, the highway driving is not really any different because it's still on the old stack. And um, yeah, we're just gonna see how it does on this. It's really once we get off the highway, it's really where we're really gonna see the changes. But so far so good, like the, the main change is that I don't have to touch the steering wheel anymore. Like that's incredible. Even with, even with the trailer attached, I don't have to touch the steering wheel anymore. Now I will, Note this road. Notice how close the, how skinny that divider is from the oncoming traffic to where I am. Past versions would almost every single time give a false collision warning uh, on on this interchange right here, and it's not. So that could be an improvement. I would have to do it again to know for certain. But yeah, that was good. Now let's see how it does changing lanes. I have minimal lane change set. So perhaps it's not going to change lanes right away, but it should, in my opinion, right now, go ahead and change lanes. Let's go ahead and speed it up to 68. I'm just not going to touch the speed limit because because I'm not actually there's actually no load in the trailer right now, and well, it's not really going to affect anything. I'm actually going into town to help someone uh, move, I guess, a stove. I don't know what I'm moving, but um, yeah, when we we're doing the Carl Sandburg route. Fortunately, we don't have time to go on a hike. It's supposed to meet them at 8:30, but we're going to do our routes around town. And then we're gonna go meet them to go pick up the stove. So this is uh, exciting. Yeah, pay attention to the road. It really doesn't like when you're touching the screen. I could be looking off to the left over here, looking at the nice views in the mountains, and it doesn't it doesn't care. It gives me about double the amount of time before it uh, bugs me. It thinks, uh, yeah, it thinks there's a car behind me. Which is interesting, like, you know, as a human, if a car is tailgating me that much, I would be slowing down. Okay, let's see when it changes over. Can you pinpoint when it's gonna change over? It's going way too fast, got, oh. Okay, it's slowing down. Slowing down. Oh, it doesn't show region. Oh, here it is, that's weird, it's vertical now. Huh. I haven't really kept up with the visualization changes. Unless this just wasn't documented, maybe maybe it wasn't documented. Let's see. Yep, yeah, we are good to go. Perfect stop in acceleration. Okay, that's too fast acceleration. <laughs> um, wait, too fast. Which is interesting because I said it was going to be better. Elon did say a five to ten x improvement in this version, which um, I I don't know what exactly that entails because so far nothing is really different for me well that's it well this is really interesting it's like it's getting over to the left of it what's it doing it's like it didn't use a blinker <laughs> it didn't use a blinker what that was weird that 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 is very weird um that's new behavior for sure because normally we get over in this left lane sooner and then we get over in this turn lane here and then smoothly go through, intersection. Yeah, this is great. And then it would slow down for these railroad tracks, which it is not doing, but honestly, yeah, that, that, that was totally fine. These railroad tracks are pretty smooth compared to the others in town. No, don't go. I thought it was gonna be the first, FSD's first road kill. <laughs> um, wow, okay. Um, that's probably happened already, but man. I don't like, I've already done that one time and it makes me feel bad. I don't like run over animals, but yeah. 
this road is interesting. So the speed, so a few reports of the speed being regressed, which is kind of, yeah, it's, it's going 30 and a 35. It, like, it, I can share, I don't know if it went wrong with the trailer, it kind of, must have went over a bump. Anyways, yeah, this is, um, yeah, this is fine. That, that's the thing. Everyone else outside of in California, California was, like, this is a good speed limit on this. Like, if the car is driving me, I don't care nearly as much. As long as it's going the speed limit and going a reasonable speed, you know, and flowing around traffic, that's where, where it matters most. And on this road, going 35 is fine. It could have kept on going 35 around this corner. It didn't need to slow down here. But, you know... It's, it's not not the end of the world that it's going a little bit slower. That's the thing. Going slower is statistically safer. And for a robot taxi, that's going to be safer than a human driver. And they and they want to get approval for their robot taxis on a national level as soon as possible. Making it go slower is advantageous to that goal. See how it handles this. Yes, unprotected left. Um, interesting. So a different acceleration profile there. And I can't tell what squeaking if it's the car or the trailer. It's probably the trailer squeaking. I think my trailers are my trailers developing some new squeaks. It's over. Is it a year old now? Two years, I forgot how old it is. A year and a half old now. I don't know. But yeah, this is this is one of the best upgrades I've ever done to my Model 3 is add this trailer here. Or add the tow hitch rather. Um, you can also have the have the tow hitch, it's a stealth hitch on the back. The hitch itself is rated for 3,500 pounds and 350 pounds of tongue weight. However, Model 3 in Europe is rated to tow 2,000 pounds and 200 pounds of tongue weight. So, I can't uh, unfortunately make it uh i'm not i'm not gonna risk towing over 2,000 pounds eventually i do want to get a side by side for this trailer and it's gonna have to be one of the smaller ones unfortunately because one it won't fit in the trailer and two they weigh too much so but it's not like i'm gonna be towing it super duper far you know three hours away on 55 six uh, like 65 tops 55 mile an hour roads I, it's, the speed profile has gotten a little bit more conservative. I don't think I'm in chill mode. Was I? Maybe I was in chill mode. Maybe that matters now. Because, it does matter. Hold up. Okay, maybe not. I thought it sped up because it moved at the average. Because now it's going like way faster on this road. It, it could affect between the profiles. Normally, I would be... No, I was in chill mode because of the highway. I didn't want it changing lanes behind cars. Maybe that's why it's going slower. That's what it needs to do. That's what everyone wants. This chill mode should go like the speed limit and maybe, you know, like this. This is perfect for chill mode. This is exactly what it should be doing for chill mode. That's interesting because I usually use chill mode with the trailer just to you know, make sure it doesn't, um, do anything as crazy, and then I use average for 99% of my other driving. So this stoplight right here has, um, failed the last two times I've done it on 12.3.6 because it's a no turn on red, and it kept on trying to turn on a no turn on red. Just last weekend, I had to disengage for this. And it's still doing it? I can't believe that. Guys, come on. It tried to run a red light. It says a no turn on red light sign, so it tried to run it. So that's a disengagement. I can't believe that. Ah. Uh, that's ridiculous. Ah, uh, guys. Come on, Tesla. You gotta at least get that right now. A 5 to 10 X improvement, you can't get a no turn on red right which it used to do perfectly every time mind you 
Ah, oh, that just that's so disappointing. This was gonna be like a perfect drive. And it's obviously not the trailer causing it. The trailer didn't cause that. So I don't know. You guys tell me. That's that's disappointing. It shouldn't do that. You're running a red light. Like it says a no turn on red and you're running a red light. Okay. So normally I would park over there, but we're gonna park in the trailer spot. Yeah. So, just a little recap. Um, not needing to uh, hold the steering wheel. Also, our efficiency. If you ever want to know what the trailer is, go look at my previous videos. I always have the efficiency in here. That's pretty dang good for towing a trailer. Of course, it's empty. <coughs> it also has a tailgate up. I can't put it down because of my new rack I've installed. But yeah, that's pretty good efficiency. Anyways, yeah, little glitches like the... Yeah, little glitches like this are happening with this version. A little bit buggy. Okay, well, otherwise, I can't, honestly, it, like, the last version was so good that I can't hardly tell the difference. Like, there are a few improvements, and you'll see them in the, uh, down below the like button. <laughs> and, uh, in the t chapters. But, um, yeah, I, that was disappointing that was not fixed. Because I reported that several times on 12.3.6, and it's not fixed in 12.4.1. That's really disappointing. Um, I'm not going to let that put me down because the best thing about this version is that I don't have to touch the steering wheel as long as I'm looking forward. That is the best thing about this version. It's so good. I, uh, even if it was that was the only change, that would have been great. But supposedly there's more changes. So we're going to go do our next test. Thanks for watching, everyone.